Hello and welcome to the Longines Global Champions Tour here in Antwerp in Belgium. The second leg of the series and joining me is Egyptian rider Karim El Zobi, competing in Miami a few weeks ago as well in our opening rounds, but here in Antwerp this week. Now, first of all, how did you enjoy Miami? Oh, I think uh, Miami tops everything. Uh, I think everybody loved it and uh, the beautiful weather, beautiful scenery and the show was just fantastic. Now, from your point of view, heading here to Belgium for uh, the competition here this week, tell me a little bit about the horses that you've you've got coming here this week. Well, both uh, both uh, my horses are uh, are young, like the mare jumping the Grand Prix. We started the uh, 130s last year, and it went quite quick. And the other one, um, yeah, she's nine, and uh, also the same. Uh, both young horses. Now, I mean, I mentioned Egypt in there, obviously internationally riding for Egypt, but based actually in Holland, you were saying to me earlier on, you've already bought a place in Holland. Yeah, just last month, uh, bought a place in Holland, a farm in Holland, and uh, it's a start. From that point of view, I mean, what's the, what's the plan for, for the next few months? Well, the next few months, uh, not selling these horses, riding shows, and uh, just hoping to improve. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, for, and from your point of view, I mean, it's a, it's a varied career from your side of things. I mean, coming into this top level, I mean, two Olympic Games now, four World Equestrian Games from your yeah. point of view. You're very experienced at the championship level. But taking you back to the start, you start as a groom. So yeah, I left, I, left, I left home at a really young age yeah. and uh, went to England when I was 13. And from there on, uh, actually, everywhere. And uh, now for the first time, I'm not selling the horses, I'm uh, keeping them. Yeah. Like you mentioned uh, the championships, I think uh, the longest horse was 10 months before a championship. Or, yeah. So it's really quick, quick. And I hope with these ones, I can uh, just go a step further. So taking it back to the start, I mean, who, who are you with in, in England to start with? To, and what, what made you come from Egypt to, to go to England to go and become a groom in the first place? Horses. <laughs> <laughs> it's an addiction. Yeah. No, I went to Sami Mahmoud was the time yeah. in England. And then after this, actually uh, everywhere in England, uh, by uh, Angela Bell, by uh, yeah. Mel Watson, by uh, yeah. Rina UK, by uh, yeah. Malcolm Pyra, by everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's Sammy here this week because he had, so, yeah, he had horses horse. with Michael Whitaker. Yeah, it's his horse, point. the one yeah. I'm riding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he got it last year for me, so uh, it's good. Yeah. I mean, uh, when you meet again with these people after all these years, uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> for the, yeah. And, and from your point of view, your, your career then has blossomed uh, coming up to championship level, as you mentioned. What, what were the, the, the parts in between? How did we progress from groom to top rider? Well, it is a, it's a long way, but for sure um, it's what you want, you know, in life and uh, horses in general, you, they don't know their price. And, you know, buying my first horse was, uh, was really cheap. And, uh, and then finding out, oh, well, they're worth money even if they jump 120, and uh, that's how things uh, start. And working, riding by a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the education of, of riding lots of different horses that, that gets you definitely, used to lots of different types. Definitely, of definitely. It helps because uh, you never have a choice what you're riding. So whatever you get to ride, you're happy with. Yeah. So for someone that's worked his way right the way through the system, you've got to know lots of people from that point of view. But, you know, how did, almost grateful does it make you to be at this top level? Oh, you feel very grateful coming to this show uh, and uh, these shows. And uh, you get beaten by the best. And uh, it makes you just improve and improve. And uh, I know everybody here. Uh, it's good. And uh, this one offers me a horse, this one. Uh, and then things just uh, progress, you know, people you know. And... Uh, Especially with the horses I have now, I would love to just do the extra strip of, uh, of just doing good in one of these shows. <laughs> I'm sure you will from that. And hopefully you'll be joining us on lots more legs of the launch. I hope so too. Tour I hope so too. And Egypt as itself, as, as, a, as a horse nation, as a competing nation, I mean, I think it was last year, first team First team ever, yeah. Yeah, yeah in yeah. the world championships. First team ever. Uh, no, Egypt has uh, come a long way. We have uh, five, six riders now. Most of them based in Europe. So, I mean, it's a start. They're all coming, uh, the last couple of years came two, three, and you have uh, two, one in America, one in Europe for a long time now. But it's everybody building themselves. Yeah. Egypt is not one of these rich countries, so it's building itself. And, and now things are coming together. I think when each of these individuals is on his own legs, and uh, then we have a team.
Absolutely. So what are the aims for this year for you? For me, uh, I hope to... Uh, I've been trying to get in the top 50 for a while, but you know, 56, 58, 50, I would love to get in there and uh, I would love to qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. 2016 Rio, we'll wait and yeah. see you there. Yeah. And we'll see you hopefully lots of ways through the season, of course, oh, through the Longy cool. Global Champions yeah. Tour. Good luck this week. It's great to be with you. Great Thank enthusiasm you. for the sport, which is wonderful to see. Thank great you. look. Good luck with your horses here this week. Thank and of course, we'll see him and many others in action all through the week here on the Longy Global Champions Tour here in Antwerp.